Okay. Oh, yeah, let's start. We're anyway late on time. So uh, my name is Vitek Bedek. Um, I work for Fujitsu and uh, will give an update on the Monasca project. Uh, who of you don't know Monasca yet? Okay. So Monasca stands for Monitoring as a Service. Uh, it is designed and implemented to be highly, highly available, fault tolerant, and uh, horizontally scalable. Uh, all the components which we use can be easily scaled, clustered. Um, it is high performance. Uh, we have deliberately chosen such components as Apache Kafka as a message queue or um, InfluxDB as a time series database to um, optimize the performance and uh, <coughs> be able to handle uh, high volume on, on uh, data. Um, Monasca is multi-tenant, meaning we, we store uh, measurements, uh, alarm definitions, notifications, all what you need for, for uh, monitoring per project. So you can expose the service to your, to your uh, users and they can organize their monitoring uh, per project. Uh, Monasca implements uh, primarily a push model for collecting uh, the measurements, uh, which, is in, which is better suited in the complex uh, uh, cloud environments. It is more fault tolerant. Uh, it also is uh, flexible. You can, you can uh, change uh, the sampling rate uh, on the agent side, depending how, uh, how fine-tuned uh, metrics you, uh, you need. Um, the architecture is based on microservices in the central place, having the message queue, uh, Kafka message queue, uh, being responsible for uh, um, communication between the, the components. Uh, oops. Here at that layer, we have independent uh, uh, specialized components uh, like uh, real time alerting engine or uh, aggregation engine. Monasca is not only measurements, but also logging and uh, events. And uh, the design again follows the same, uh, the same schema with uh, Kafka message queue in the middle and, uh, and uh, specialized components uh, for logs and events. We use Elasticsearch for storage. Um, our project is relatively small uh, with uh, three main contributors being uh, Fujitsu, Suze, and uh, Stack HPC. We also have uh, several other contributors with, uh, with uh, um, yeah, smaller contributions. Now, for the work we have, we have done in the, in the previous release, um, I will start with uh, adding support for Alembic database migrations. Till, uh, till Rocky release, we have uh, managed the database uh, schema in, a simple, in simple SQL scripts. So every time when, when uh, the schema was changed between the versions, uh, upgrading from one version to another was, uh, was a painful and uh, error-prone process. Now we have added a, a single command line tool to, to automate this. Uh, uh, we have documented a clean workflow for developers, what they have to do if they, if they change the schema and operators have a simple automated tool uh, for performing the, the upgrades. Uh, in the last uh, project update, I have reported about uh, the effort of uh, uh, contributing the Monasca publisher to Silometer project. Uh, the idea was that we leverage the work which was done in Silometer and collect the measurements and then publish them to, to Monasca. Uh, it's in particular important for, for, for example, building applications like Cloud Kitty service. Uh, they need more detail about the instances as, as the Monasca Libvirt plugin is, is uh, delivering. Uh, unfortunately, uh, the effort was, uh, was basically blocked by the silometry, uh, by the telemetry team. Uh, so we went to plan B and we updated uh, uh, the Monasca uh, plugin in a separate repository. 
Um, the next area we worked on is uh, Monasca Transform. It's our aggregation engine. We use it to, um, so uh, it uh, consumes the, the measurements from the Kafka queue, makes the calculations, and then generates new, new measurements, new aggregated uh, metrics back to, the, back to the system. It can be used to, to aggregate measurements between different metrics, like, for example, calculate uh, um, CPU usage across all the, all the, all the instances uh, on the node. Um, it can be used to combine different metrics and generate a new one, um, like for example, uh, the number of logical cores and the uh, idle percentage of each core and uh, yeah, calculate a, 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 a utilization of, of the CPU or a rate of change of, of, of a given metric. Uh, for example, how, how fast the available storage on, on your system is decreasing. Uh, what have we done? We have significantly simplified and cleaned up the, the uh, specification how these aggregations can be configured. We have improved the documentation and upgraded the, the middleware used by the component. In the past, installing Monasca was, was a real pain point and um, it was really complex and we have spent quite some effort to, to improve that. And uh, in this point, I can say we, we have a number of, of methods and uh, the, the, the situation is, has improved uh, a lot. So uh, as before, uh, Monasca is included in SUSE OpenStack Cloud. So we can, uh, uh, um, you can have it as, as a ready solution there. Uh, with the red color, I have marked the, the uh, deployment methods we have worked on in the, in the last cycle. So um, Monasca has been added to Cola Ansible. The, the last reviews matched just, uh, just last week. Thanks a lot. Um, yeah, so uh, you, can, you can install it in, in, in Cola. You can also uh, install it uh, standalone using the, the same method. We have worked on improving Docker Compose uh, deployment. In particular, uh, we are uh, moving the um, Docker file definitions uh, into the upstream uh, repo so we can integrate it more easily in the, in the OpenStack CI. And also the, the OpenStack Ansible uh, role for Monasca has been fixed and uh, updated. So uh, the complete uh, metrics pipeline is now fully functional and uh, ready to use. Now uh, let's come to the current release as uh, the outcome of the planning meeting in, uh, in, uh, the, during the, the PTG meeting in Denver. Um, we have decided to concentrate uh, in this cycle on uh, extending support for logs and notifications. Um, logs and notifications are different in nature from, from metrics. They, they uh, described uh, a single event-based uh, phenomenon in the, in the system, whereas metrics uh, provide more um, aggregated view uh, on some value in the, in the system. So these, these uh, two sorts of information are complementary and um, you can use the metrics to, to narrow down the problem and then take a look at logs and notifications to, to look more closely on the root cause of your, of your problem. And in Monasca, we, uh, we want to follow a goal of providing single pane of glass to be able to, to have one tool uh, to view all, all this information. We also want to correlate different sources of information, only then we, we will get the complete picture. Um, also, uh, based on this event-based information, you can, you can generate new uh, new metrics describing, for example, system performance, like uh, um, you, can, you can make new measurements uh, about how long the, the, the instance takes to, to spin up. Um, 
measure the utilization of your system, um, report about status and errors. What in detail we want to do? Uh, first task is um, related with our repositories. As of now, we have, we have three repositories, one for collecting measurements, uh, defining alarms and uh, notifications, one for collecting the logs and one for collecting events. And the outcome of this is that uh, the code kind of diverges. <laughs> we, we create a technical depth and uh, yeah, they, they even behave uh, differently in some cases. That's uh, not what we want. We want to, um, and we decided we will, we will match these three APIs into, into one to have the, the same user experience for, for all, these, uh, all these actions. And it will also simplify the, the deployment and operation of the service. In the last cycle, we have worked on uh, implementing the, the events or notifications pipeline. And the uh, state of now is we have, we have the API where you can uh, send, your, uh, send the, the, the events and they will be persisted in Elasticsearch. The last uh, missing part to, to, for a complete pipeline uh, is to collect the, the OpenStack notifications. And originally we wanted to leverage uh, Silometer for this, but uh, recently, I guess September it was, they have deprecated event support in, uh, in Silometer. So uh, we decided we want to go for, for a future-proof uh, solution and uh, we will uh, add a small component which will um, collect the, the notifications from RabbitMQ and uh, republish them to, to Kafka uh, for use in, in, in Monasca. Um, the component will provide some uh, filtering so that the, the, the operators will be able to configure which, which notifications they are interested in and they will extract some uh, relevant data like for example project ID and similar. Um, as of now, the, the logs and events API, they provide only a post uh, method, so you can only send, uh, send the uh, payloads. And for visualization, we use uh, Kibana uh, with, uh, with a plugin which provides multi-tenancy for, for Kibana. Uh, the task which we want to implement is to uh, to add the get methods to the, to the endpoints uh, so that you will uh, be able to query logs and events in a generic way. And you will be able to integrate it in third party solutions, so, um, visualization tools, like for example in Grafana, you could write a data source for, for logs or events. Uh, the API will have uh, some basic filtering on, on dimensions <coughs> and will provide statistics about uh, the collected logs and events. Um, apart from this, we also want to make some maintenance uh, of our middleware. We want to migrate to a new uh, Kafka client. We have done some benchmarking. Uh, um, we have done some benchmarking and uh, found out uh, with a new, with a new uh, asynchronous uh, communication we can, we can publish the messages up to 100 times faster and consumer can be up to six times uh, faster with the new library. Cross project work. Um, Monasca can easily integrate with, uh, with other projects. I have listed some existing, uh, existing integrations on the, on the left. Uh, in general, we can group them into three, into three groups. Uh, the first group consumes uh, alerting uh, functionality of Monasca, so you can do heat autoscaling. Um, in this cycle, we will update uh, documentation uh, about, about this. Uh, there is some documentation available, but it's spread, and uh, yeah, we, will, we, will, we want to update this. In the last uh, cycle, we have uh, extended, uh, we have added authenticated webhook uh, 
um, notification. So we had webhook before, but we have added this authenticated method. Uh, it, it was as part of the uh, work with, uh, with Congress. Another group of services consumes uh, the measurements from Monasca. Uh, these are Cloud Kitty or Watcher. And uh, Silometer uh, uh, works the other way around. It, it, uh, we, con uh, we collect what's going on. We collect uh, the measurements for, from Silometer if needed. On the right hand side, I have, I have listed some possible integrations and unfortunately, it's, I don't know really why, but it's difficult to find resources for, uh, for working on, on, um, on such cross project integrations. So we have, we have talked with Vitrage and Watcher and we have described how such integrations uh, uh, should look like. Um, so if you would like to contribute to any of these projects, yeah, that's, that, that would be a great, uh, great opportunity. Um, we want your feedback. Please contact us in, in uh, any available channels. You can, you can write us in the new OpenStack uh, Discuss mailing list. Please don't forget the Monasca tag. You can also use it for filtering in your client. Uh, you can uh, ping us in the OpenStack Monasca IRC channel or attend the, the weekly meeting. How to contribute? Uh, we use a Storyboard for, uh, for coordinating uh, our development. So we have a Kanban board where, uh, where you can find some uh, stories in backlog. So if you want, you can pick some of these or you can just uh, look uh, at the open reviews or just propose a new, new story and a uh, new feature and uh, um, describe it shortly in a story and, uh, Propose a documentation, propose the implementation, or just the feature. Um, of course, you could work on the bug fixes, cross project in integrations, as I said, um, installers, documentation. These are all areas where we definitely need, need help. Uh, last but not least, uh, the next. Monas so Monasca presentations in, here in Berlin. Uh, we will have an onboarding session for, uh, in particular for these of you who are interested in, in, in uh, contributing to the project. Um, it will start in five minutes. Uh, then uh, we have a hands-on uh, session, interactive uh, session where you can try out uh, Monasca and uh, play a bit uh, with, uh, with a command line client. And tomorrow is a lightning talk uh, about uh, Monasca in the high performance computing cloud. Uh, that's all for me. Uh, do you have any questions? Yeah, go on. Um, yes. What is, um, I guess the question is, Different is Monasca from telemetry, Seilometer. How different is Monasca from telemetry? Um, can it fetch the same data as Seilometer? Uh, yeah, it can fetch very similar data, data as Seilometer. Um, well, yes and no. <laughs> so, um, if you really need exactly the same data as Silometer, you can use the Monasca plugin to push it everything to, to, to Monasca. Silometer uh, is more concentrated on uh, OpenStack infrastructure and the, and the services. Um, if you're interested about monitoring your instances, I think you're, you're fine with, uh, with Monasca. If, with Monasca, you can, you can um, monitor uh, other applica your, your applications uh, running in your, in your project on your instances. You can, you can install in the agent on, the, on, your, on your instances and uh, um, yeah. Okay, thank you. Any more questions?
Pardon? Can, can, can I run standalone? Yes, the, uh, the only dependency actually is Keystone. Mm -hmm. Yes? Will you be speaking more of the difference between this and Telomica in the next session? Pardon? Will you be speaking more of the difference between Monasca and other monitoring? Uh, so onboarding session is uh, kind of, yeah, I, ha I have uh, the flow uh, for, for, the, for the next presentation, but uh, there is more time and I can definitely go, go on, into this as well, yes. Yeah? You mentioned that you use InfluxDB. Yes. Are you planning to use also other dependencies that are such as Prometheus? Um, we are not planning to use Prometheus as a, uh, um, as a backend. Uh, we can scrape Prometheus metrics as, as an uh, agent plugin. Uh, and for the backend, we use uh, InfluxDB or you can use Apache Cassandra. Anything else? Thank you very much.